We are doubling down here this afternoon on Studio 10. The McCartney Irish dancers are back and they're ready to shake a shamrock, aren't we guys? Yes. yes, yes. I think so. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thank you for having us. So yes. great to, guys, to have you guys back here, especially as we're gearing up for St. Patrick's Day. But you guys have been preparing for that parade in Grand Ledge all year long. But you guys have also been making a lot of different appearances, and you've had so many different performances and experiences together. Megan, tell me a little bit about what you guys have been up to since the last time you were here. This group of dancers is part of our performance team, so they do mm -hmm. shows all year round, not just around March. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing dancing at festivals, at senior care facilities, at schools. We have a bunch of schools coming up this week that we're going to be dancing at. So they're ready to dance. This is the best time of year. Absolutely. And to be prepared for a lot of those performances, it takes a lot of practice. So that's why I want to single out Kyle, if that's OK. But Kyle, first tell me a little bit about your experience to Irish dancing. How did you get involved with the McCartney Dance Studio? Uh, my sister's best friend dances with our studio. So when we, there was a trial class, and my sister invited me to come with her and I just took with it. I love it. So when you took that trial class, were you like perfect from the start? Or <laughs> how did you get to the point um, that you're at now? A lot of practice, yes. A lot of practice. That's awesome. And Megan, you get a chance to see them each, each and every single day coming in and out of the studio. What's it like when you get a chance to see them grow and become the dancers that they are? I mean, it's just amazing because I knew these kids all at the start of their dance careers. and. It's, when I look back at pictures, it's absolutely insane because I know these kids and they are doing amazing work. They're just so talented and we just love it. I don't, it's, it's been amazing seeing them progress and, and grow as dancers. I love that and we're going to get a chance to see that all very soon. But what I love is that you guys all work together as a team to make one unified sound. It's different dancers, a lot of different feet but it's one beautiful unified sound. Kyle, what's the best part about getting a chance to dance with your teammates here? Uh, just working on the steps and then getting it to perfection and all being great together. I love that, great together, and that's because you also have a great leader who's helping you and coordinating <laughs> that. Megan, I wanna know, what's one piece of advice that you usually tell them before they get up and do a performance? Well, we, besides performances, we also do Irish dance competitions, which mm -hmm. can be very nerve-wracking. So one of the things that we talk about is just getting up there and showing them what you love. This is the thing you love to do, and it's just fun to share that with other people. I love that, and I can hear the passion in your voice, and I'll get to see the passion in your feet. And uh, we're about to get pretty lucky here on Studio 10 because the McCartney Irish Dancers will perform in our Studio 10 stage in just a moment. So everybody, stay with us. <laughs> 